Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to Kitchen Cabinet and Drawer Organization. I'm gonna dive right in today with our before clips, show you our base, what we're working with. I do apologize in advance for my voice. I'm a little bit sick right now. Hopefully it sounds okay to you. I want to show you guys what we're starting with. So some cabinets are a lot worse than others. Just wait until you see the toaster area. It is embarrassing and such a mess, but that's okay. We fixed it today. I'm using several different products, different methods, Methods, and I just have a lot of ideas and tips and tricks to share today So we're gonna get through a few more before clips and we'll dive right into reorganizing Thank you for being here. I hope I motivate you guys to do the same if you need it done today. Let's do this All right, so now that you have a good idea of what we're starting out with, what our before looks like, I want to put some new products out. I have a new multi-surface cleaner. I have some new organizers. The organizers that I'm using today are either from Meyer or Target. I found this great pack for $5 at the Target dollar spot of white organizers. It's three organizers. You guys will see that in, I think, the first drawer. I do, I'm opening it right now to wash it, and I'm going to wash everything and lay this out to dry before I use Use them that way everything is clean before it goes in any of my drawers and cabinets I also grab some new mixing bowls and measuring cups One thing I really wanted to switch out today was our Tupperware. We used to have so many like strangely shaped Tupperwares, a lot of really small ones for sauces that we never used, that would just make the cabinets very cluttered, that would get lost in the fridge because they were so small. So I'm just going to use these glass ones as my Tupperwares. I don't have any other ones anymore. We used to have a lot of the plastic ones for meal prepping. Eventually those warp and wear down. Since these are glass, they're going to last a very, very long time. Yes, they definitely are a little pricier than the plastic ones but you don't have to repurchase these anywhere near as often so I know it will save me money in the long run And here's a better look at those Target dollar spot organizers. Again, it's a set for $5. I wanna say it's three organizers or four, I can't remember and I cannot tell from this clip, but if you're watching this soon after I post, check them out. They also have them in black. I bought two packs because that was all they had left. I would've bought several more. If you want really affordable organizers and these are out of stock, you can also check the dollar store, like Dollar General. I bought organizers there in the past. They just typically have colors and stuff instead of the clear or white, but sometimes if you're lucky, you can find those. All right, so the very first drawer we're going to tackle is the silverware drawer. Some people call it flatware. That's a very fancy word for me. I've never called it flatware before. And I have had like these really large containers for all the different kinds of silverware. They take up way more space than I need. So that's why I wanted this little silverware container or this little silverware organizer, I should say. And I'm just going to sort everything where it belongs, all the spoons, forks, knives, the serving silverware, and then I'm going to figure figure out how I'm going to lay out this drawer. We also keep baby silverware in here. We keep our chopsticks and also our straws. So there's a few different things I need to fit in this space. Yeah. 
and look at this tragedy you guys it was so close to fitting not quite it would have had to be at a slight angle there was a lot of tension i just didn't want to ruin them and snap them eventually from the weight so i can only use one of these in here that's why i always try and get organizers that are very versatile that i can use in a lot of different spaces because you never know when you're going to run into a hiccup so that's okay we're going to come back to that drawer in just a second and start working on this drawer this is such a hot mess we have a drawer for our kitchen knives spatulas and spoons and then this is like all of the extra things so let's tackle this let's get everything out of here wipe it down and then figure out our layout I'm normally into clear organizers the most, but I really love white for kitchen drawers. I feel like it just makes all your stuff pop. So because my husband is a chef, he does a lot of cooking, he does like recipe development and he's always been involved with food for work, we have an excess amount of kitchen stuff, like everything you can think of. We have spoons, we have a ton of knives, we have a lot of kitchen gadgets. So a lot of these extra things we actually keep in our storage room and he just brings them up whenever he needs them because there's no way all of his stuff could actually fit in our kitchen. So he was just putting away some of his extra knives before I go through this drawer we don't keep our knives on the countertop a lot of people have like um one of those like storage things you know that you put the knives in on the counter i don't know what those are called we keep all of those in this drawer on one side to the left and then on the other side is going to be spatulas and spoons And these organizers are from Target. The wood ones look nice, they're fancy, but they are a little pricey. They were the only ones I could find that were long enough for spoons and spatulas. And I feel like one of the cool things about today's video is you guys are going to see a little bit of everything. There's clear, there's white, there's wood. So you can kind of see what you like for your own home and go from there. All right, well, we are well on our way. A lot done, a lot more to do. So now we're going to work on our drinking glass cabinet. I have regular water glasses in here, like the glass ones. I have tumblers. I have specialty cups for special occasions. So I used to keep our tumblers on this bottom shelf. I'm going to put those on the middle shelf. There's a little more room there. I could rearrange. We do have like those little stoppers on the side to switch up the height, but it's very hard to do it. Honestly, I'm like shaking when I do that. So. I try and work with the levels that I have whenever possible and I do try and limit myself. I feel like we have so much stuff. I'm always trying to get rid of things. So if a tumbler does not fit on this shelf, 
we do not need it there's no way we're gonna use all of these in a week and a few days before washing the dishes anyway so I always tell Chad if it doesn't fit on the shelf you need to switch one out same with water glasses and everything else if you are the same way then have a little rule for yourself and your family it will make a big difference in the long run So whenever you can keep an entire category in one cabinet, it's always really helpful to stay organized in the long run and maintain it. This is our coffee cabinet. So coffee cups, there's tumblers, there are like regular mugs for hot coffee, there's going to be cups for iced coffee, and then at the very top is all of the coffee accessories that Chad has. He has a lot of like French press and AeroPress and specialty coffee things that I'm going to store at the very top. This one has always stressed me out, so the after is super for satisfying. And now we're going to tackle what I've always called the baby cabinet, but I guess I should be calling it the toddler cabinet now. So these are for his cups, his bottle cups, his water cups, his medicine, his plates and bowls, and all of our really small um, like kitchen countertop gadgets, like a really mini waffle maker, panini maker, those kind of things. I feel like they are such a hit right now. You can find them at Home Goods and on Amazon, our hard boiled egg maker. I keep all of those really, really little ones at the very top so this is a lazy susan that i use for a lot of the parts for his cups and bottles and i love lazy susans i also love the turntable style it's essentially the same thing it just doesn't have walls on the side i recommend these to everyone you can buy them on amazon and also the home edit collection at walmart has these right now for a really good deal The after of his cabinet I will show you at the end when we do our walkthrough of the after. I'm moving on to honestly the grossest cabinet. I never opened this one, which is why we are going to completely change what we use it for. So everything in there will either go in storage or in another cabinet. We used to keep our toaster down here. I'm going to show you what the container I keep it in looks like. It's gross, you'll see. I don't know how it got that bad, but I guess life happens. Sometimes you miss things and then eventually you find them and you're like, why did I let this happen? So I'm going to keep some things in here for Forrest to play with. I've always heard people recommend having a cabinet that small kids can get into. They can get their own cup to let you know they want to drink or they can just play with the bowls and the spatulas. He loves doing that, so happy to have that for him. I'm going to move on to another cabinet. So in this one, we have a riser for our skillets. 
I highly recommend getting a riser for your skillets. We used to just like stack them. This is honestly so much easier. I'm also going to keep Tupperware in this one at the very, very top. You'll see that in the walkthrough. Going to hurry up and do another one, trying to get through the rest of these fast so we can get to our walkthrough because I'm just so excited to show you guys the after. Okay, so here is that toaster container. I really recommend keeping your toaster in something just to help those crumbs and not get all over your cabinets. I'm going to rinse and wash this really well before I put it back in there. And we're going to now store the toaster in the Lazy Susan instead of the cabinet it was in before. It's just, it's gonna make a lot more sense. We only have two more areas to get through, so I keep our medicine, like adult medicine, separate from kid medicine. I also really recommend that. It's just, I'm a worrier. I worry about everything, and I know if ours are in completely different spaces, I will never accidentally give Forrest adult medicine, so... That's why I like to do this. I'm going to put all of ours on a little turntable right here on the first shelf on the left. I have some mail in here. I have a few other like electronic gadgets in here. One for sanitizing our phones. I'm going to keep batteries in here. This is kind of a little bit random, but it's going to make sense in the end. I love having things like this in a place where I'm not going to forget about them, like things you don't use that often, but when you need them, you really need them kind of thing. Like batteries and like those little hooks. What are those called? Command hooks whenever i need those i cannot find them so now i know they're always in here And here is our after, guys. Feels so good to be at this point. Room to grow is something I always talk about in organization videos. Eventually, there's going to be more things in here, and I have the space for them. I have all of my tumblers in a row. I really like things in rows, like any water glasses or cups, instead of just putting them randomly on a shelf. It feels so much better. I have the plates we use every day on the first two shelves, extras on top. This is the toddler cabinet the water glasses on the right, the little accessories in the middle, bottles on the left, the plates and cups in the middle, the medicine 
on the middle shelf those extra gadgets on top as you know these are so great for so many different things i have some containers for lids of our tumblers and coffee cups the adult ones because i don't like to put lids on things straight out of the dishwasher that way no water or moisture is trapped in them i always worry about that too again the medicine separate from the adult medicine next i'll show you our coffee cabinet So on the bottom right there, I have another organizer for the lids for our Yeti cups and tumblers. So some things you do see the lids on already. Those are things that like we hand washed or I knew they were completely dry before I put them away. If anything has those water droplets, that's what that little container and organizer is for. I added a bunch of forest artwork over here. I love having it like that. and also it helps to hide some of the black. And then I did leave our coffee pods in what they come in, just like the regular packaging. I really don't need to take those out they fit perfectly by the way in the drawer like you can see left or right so so satisfying that I don't feel the need to put them in anything else I just cannot get over the before and afters of these drawers. It feels so good for everything to have a place. This one is a little bit heavy. I need to get rid of a few more things, but still a major improvement. We're striving for improvement, not perfection. I need to get rid of a few like um, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers in that one. It will look much better. Here's the little play cabinet for Forrest and then a few more to show you guys. And that is going to be everything I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. There are several links for you below. I'm going to link my Amazon page. It has a lot of organization products. I have recent videos, my like to know it and more. So thank you again for spending the time with me and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.